process started about uh, three years ago, 2012, 2011, 12. Uh, we were uh, wanting to put together a crime show initially for S4C. Um, S4C were uh, very keen and willing partners early in the process. Um, we pitched a show to them that would have a keen sense of place, uh, set in Aberystwyth. Uh, we were keen to depict a part of Wales that we felt was very rarely seen on screen, uh, keen to go to a place that had real identity. Uh, and also go to a place that, for S4C's, uh, from S4C's point of view, where a Welsh language cop show would, would ring true. Uh, it would have been a bit of a stretch in Cardiff or Swansea, uh, not so much in Aberystwyth. On the business side, we needed partners if we were going to make the show we wanted to make. S4C very generously gave us their top tariff, um, but that tariff doesn't go a very long way in this, in this day and age uh, with uh, production costs. So we brought in, um, well, we approached uh, all three media uh, distributors in London, uh, who we thought would be slightly, um, maybe reticent. Uh, we pitched the idea that we'd make the show back to back, that we'd film every scene in Welsh and in English and deliver them an English version that they could sell to international partners. Uh, and to our great surprise and joy, um, they came in uh, with a pledge of a, a big chunk of money. They came in with about 25% uh, of the budget. Well, I would like to actually speak about the opportunities because I think actually opportunities and challenges are, are you have to change your challenges to be your to be your opportunities instead of, of seeing them as challenges. And yeah, that there's a language thing, uh, and also the budget, uh, the financing. It, it, it's we can't uh, we don't have the same budgets as they do in America or even probably in Great Britain as well. Uh, but I think that inspires uh, to be more creative and, and, and think differently. We have actually Ed said it earlier uh, that we have to make the budget our friend. Uh, we have to to not think of all the things that we can't do, but but think of all the things that we can do and be creative. And what we've done in Denmark success, successfully is, is to make that our. Uh, to make it into opportunities as well and, and, and make it uh, the creativity within those limits. Uh, with S4C and all three media on board, we also went to BBC Wales uh, to their head of programmes, Adrian Davis, who was uh, very receptive and came on board as well. So then we had our two national broadcasters, S4C and BBC Wales, and all three media attached. Um, at that point, we were, we were majority financed. Um, we were on course to make a bilingual show. Uh, we applied to media, uh, received um, support from the media fund, the European fund, also some support from Welsh government. Uh, and we also found uh, in Aberystwyth University great partners locally on the ground who are hugely helpful in terms of um, uh, giving access to uh, locations we wanted to use in Aberystwyth, uh, providing um, sort of accommodation for the production. Um, they were great partners. So a mix of big national partners and local partners uh, is what delivered the show from a business point of view. Well, as a line producer, I'm very much in the production process of it all. Um, I know what's happening uh, in the producing part as well, but, but I think it's, it's quite interesting to meet uh, people who uh, have a entirely different take on, on things uh, from an they take things from an academic point of view which is not something that I experience a lot in my work they're, they're making theories about a reality that I'm already in but sometimes it's, it's quite interesting to, to actually to actually uh, hear or see the theories uh, because it's things you know but but you Never thought of them as theory. I mean, it's it's funny with the series because we get we get sent academic reports, we get sent uh, sort of uh, economic assessments, uh, you get critical um, feedback, uh, you get all those things, and then you get that you get that probably more pure thing from an audience, which is just simply that they really enjoyed it, uh, and you know, and it struck a chord with the national and international audience. So it'd be nice to think. Oh, I know for a fact that you know there are people who've made the trip to Aber uh, from far, you know, from far and wide who wouldn't have made it had it not been for the fact they'd seen it in Hinterland. So.